Hey, how's it going? It's Monday. Mailman came today. We've got some cards to open up. We want to show you what we've been looking at, which uh, players we've had our eye on. These are players that we think their cards might pop at some point in the next few months, so we're trying to buy them on the cheap while we can. And uh, let's jump in. We'll see, uh, see what we got here today. Talk you through it. And see what makes sense here so all right first one here we got a, a slab it looks like an nba card it is a guy by the name of a devin vassell or yes. vassal rookie card here mosaic psa 10. so this one uh, was brought to our attention by joseph i believe he uh he thinks there's some upside um, for? place for the spurs, spurs right so uh, Spurs with Wemby now, you know, I know he's going to be overshadowed by Wemby here uh, for a little while, but he should should still play a pretty big role. And uh, if he has some decent stats here, this will probably be something we hang on to for for a little while. Just see how he evolves over time. He's been hitting threes. Hitting threes, Joseph says. All right. Number two here. Not graded here, so we have a raw something. Pretty easy. Looks like Bowman, Bowman Chrome. Got blue tape over it, so actually it looks like we got two cards here. So, all right, there we go. Jared Jones, out of 150 autograph. In the pirate system yeah this is a from 2020 um i think i'm trying to remember where i first heard about him but um i think he's pretty close to being called up might be in triple a and uh second card here same thing this one is out of it's like 71. so these two here um we'll look carefully at him if he if it looks like he's gonna be called up and the cards look good we may send him into psa to try and get a grade right before he gets called up um, getting a PSA 10 on a on a prospect who is uh, getting called up can be very lucrative on the financial side this envelope here is kind of tricky Let's see if we can't uh, yes yeah, 71 it looks like maybe you're supposed to pull across the top here. That makes more sense. Throw that stuff away from the wheel. It's stuck on my finger. Uh, oh. Throw this away. Alright. Sticky. Sticky fingers here. Let's see what else we got. Same thing. Out of 99. Um, what I really liked about his cards is that he's still... he's Even though it's from 2020, he's very under the radar. And his cards were not very expensive at all. So, again, that a lot of times if we see one particular player's cards being pretty cheap, we may try and grab a couple different ones. So let's open up the first eBay authentic grade box. And this is a different box than normal. There's like a, a magnet here on this one now. So they really went, went all out here. Goodness. I want to keep that bad boy safe. I'll show you what's going on. So we have a... We have Keith Colt here, Bowman first autograph, and it's like strapped in here like a car seat. I don't want you to get it out, I guess. Here we go. We got it. So, PSA 10, or I guess SGC, uh, rated a perfect 10 out of 10. Wait, is SGC, like, are there 9.5s, the ones that are... Like, I think 10 is the best. At SGC, just like 10 is the best for PSA. What's the one? So, um, Beckett has the one that Beckett, oh, yeah. Beckett's a company that um, a nine and a half is like the same as a 10 at PSA. So, all right, here we got another one here. This one is Ooh. nice. We have James, James Wood, Wood who's with the, with the Nationals now, but out of 99 autograph here. I had to do some uh, some big bargaining 
um, to get somebody to come down. It was an expensive card, but I think James has the potential to be a great player when he gets called up. Okay. That's true. And we share a name, so that's something. All right, last one here for this mailbag episode. I still got that damn tape on my fingers. All right, last one. Ooh. All right. Gold. We have a Yang Quiao Fernandez out of 25. Mm. Gem Mint 10, Autograph 10. Mm. So this is about as perfect as they come. It's out of 25, very rare. And he may be another year or two away from getting called up. But a lot of potential here from this young man. This is a 2022 card. He was born in 03, so he's about 20 years old. And uh, that means, you know, hopefully he's he's... He's going to be coming up pretty soon. Um, hopefully, in spring training, he gets a chance to prove himself and make some noise. So that's it for this mailbag episode. Um, if we get any more in, we'll do another one. If you have any players we should take an eye, or keep an eye on or or dig into, please let us know. Until next time, hope you're having a good trading day.